Hello, please come in. It's such a chilly and rainy day that I think it's a wonderful time to have a visitor over. My name is Edith Wilson. I was the First Lady of the United States for seven years. Let me tell you about my life so far until the rain stops. I'm very proud of my heritage. I'm related to many First Ladies and Presidents, such as Martha Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Letitia Tyler, and the family of William Henry Harrison and his grandson Benjamin Harrison as well. However, I am well known for being a direct descendant of Pocahontas. As a child, I had a difficult childhood. I was the seventh of 11 children, and we were all crowded in the upstairs rooms above a storefront which we lived in. I had no formal education until I became a teenager. Even though I was at school at the age of 15, I didn't like school. Therefore, I only stayed at the school for two terms. I then moved to, on to the Richmond Female Seminary and stayed there until I was 18. I married Norman Galt at the age of 25 on April 30th, 1896. He was a jewelry store owner and had a great amount of wealth. We moved to Washington, D.C. not long after we were married. I was able to go abroad and purchase new fashions and other things that I desired using my husband's wealth. I began mingling with upper-class people in Washington. Norman died suddenly almost 12 years later and I was left with a great sum of money and the jewelry store. Even though I supervised the entire operation of the store, I hired a manager to take care of the staff. President Woodrow Wilson, who recently was widowed, was mourning the loss of his wife. I became curious about him and found some mutual friends to help me meet him. Within a few months, we started talking politics and soon love letters were exchanged. He proposed to me three months after we met each other. Since I had to become First Lady immediately after we were married, I wore black instead of the traditional white. As First Lady, I oppose the right for women to vote. I still think that it disrupts the harmony of a household. I believe her job is to take care of her children and run a household properly. In January of 1917, many suffragists started lining up outside the White House gate protesting about how long they must wait for liberty. I was very upset by them causing a disturbance. I offered them to come inside from the cold, but they refused. The group was later arrested for disturbing the peace. Hmm. Nevertheless, the amendment was passed allowing women to vote. In 1919, Woodrow had a stroke and was ordered to bed. I made sure that, it, that all important papers were given to him to look at. Even one time he asked me to decode a secret message. I was then accused of running the country by myself. What nonsense. Woodrow died in 1924 and I was left alone once again. It's hard living my life without him, but I know I must be proper and be part of the busy social life. I do believe the rain has stopped. Well, that's everything I have to share with you. Thank you very much for stopping by. Goodbye.